Aloha. So today is Saturday, December 31st, 2022. So it's New Year's Eve. And I thought I would do this video from a different perspective. And if you can tell by looking in the background, I'm actually sitting on top of my RV on the roof and behind me is the view so there's one of the pastures with goats and chickens which actually you can't really see very well right now because they're over in that area and then over here we have the pig pasture which I think you can barely see the pigs right there um, so I just wanted to take this time to say thank you to all of my Ohana friends and family around the world. And uh, thank you for support supporting me in one way or another, whether it be over the phone or um, through social media or just prayers and good thoughts um, and I wanted to also wish you all the best in the coming year so I can't believe it's gonna be 2023 already it sounds so weird to say that <laughs> so anyway um, and I wanted to give a little gift I guess you could call it um, and read to you something that Tom wrote um i don't remember what year it was but it was definitely um at least a year or two before he passed um so i know um kimberly had said that she really enjoyed me sharing um things about tom and uh, so i'm gonna read to you from this notebook that he wrote um, something he did to try to stay positive. Um, so it's a collection of different things. Some things are like things that he personally wrote. Some things are uh, things that he um, had read and liked and so he then wrote it into his notebook um, as something that he wanted to remember. Um, so the first page of it says, well, he kind of dedicates it to me. To my wife, more than a wonderful woman, you are my very best friend. Words alone will never express how very much I love you. And uh, I am not one to like cry very easily. So if you are wondering like, Oh my gosh, how come she's not crying? You know, I'm just like not that type of person. And I do feel emotions. I do miss Tom. I just don't like to share them that easily, I guess. I don't know. Or not liking to share them. It's just, I just don't easily share those kinds of feelings um, verbally. They're in my head and it's just I don't know how sometimes to get them out. Um, so then he wrote a page here um, entitled Money Versus Value. Um, so it starts with a Bible verse from Luke chapter 9 verse 25. What good is it for a man to gain the whole world and yet lose or forfeit his self and then he goes on to say and it's basically um, he's talking to God praying Lord I caught myself planning how sorry I can't read his writing <laughs> how my money could multiply over the years and not 
once did I think about your provision and plan. Please help me to find a balance as I strive for success. Present me with your definition of successful living so I do not equate my earnings and my future portfolio with true value. I have seen how many how money destroys people. God, do not let me rest in monetary securities. You are my provider and the creator of my life strategy. May I become excited as I imagine how my current blessings will multiply as I learn to trust you. So definitely that was not how Tom used to speak. So he, he uh, read this somewhere and just was uh, compelled by it. And uh, it makes me feel, and here I go having to like describe my feelings. So it's hard for me. Um, you know, it makes me feel, I guess, happy to know that he was striving to be a better person with his money. Although I know in, you know, looking back at what happened in our financial life, we did have some issues. Um, and I, I won't go into details because I, my friends have told me I shouldn't talk about finances too much um, but I just want to let you guys know that although Tom was very positive most of the time and generous um, you know we did have our financial problems and so if you are or someone you know has financial problems, I want you to know that you are not alone and that um, just as what Tom wrote here, um, that we need God to help us with making wise decisions when it comes to money and to not rely on money to make us feel secure and happy. Like for instance, right now I have the least amount of money I've had in my life as an adult. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. Um, I do have some savings, but in terms of like monthly income and uh, you know, before I would have been like really freaked out about like not having a stable paycheck every week. And I'm not freaked out about it at all because I know that God has provided in the past and I know that he will continue to provide and that I don't need a lot of stuff in order to be happy. So, so I think I'll leave it at that. I don't want to make this video too long. I see it's going on eight minutes now. And I'm running out of battery, so. So mahalo for watching this video and your positive comments on it. And I plan on sharing more of Tom's writings and thoughts and my thoughts. If that helps you or someone you know. So please give me your feedback. I really, really appreciate it and it's um it helps me mentally emotionally um more than i can express so so anyway um see you next year